No! We will now recite all of the words we have heard our almighty Saxon say. What? what? Who are you? Why are you following me? Get away. I don't want you here. Get out of my shed. I'm calling the cops. Our Saxon has arrived. Commence fanning. It is now time to recite the oath of Saxon. Shirt of blue, teeth of white, we promise that with all our might to, to sacrifice ourselves in name of our ruler who became our closest living entity gave by the identity of Saxon! You, S. Okay, I think he's really smart and has a great sense of style. I think the true form of Saxon lives in another dimension, one too incredibly beautiful for our mortal minds to comprehend. Intriguing perspective, eh? Our eternal master is home. It is now time to recite the Oath of Saxon. Shirt of blue, teeth of white, we promise. No, no, stop, our... stop! Huh? <gasps> Did someone misspeak? If so, they must be put to death. No, no, it wasn't me, I swear. This is what I mean. This has gotten way out of hand. I mean, I'm a nobody. 
I don't deserve this type of praise. You guys have been living this shit 24-7 just the weight of me. I don't want any of you guys sacrificing sacrificing yourselves for me. I mean, I, I love that you guys actually do this for me, but I don't need it. You're not serious, are you, Saxon? I am. We will worship Saxon. No, you won't. Not anymore. I'm sorry. We will worship Saxon, dead or alive. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where is he? Hey, Jerome, can I come in? Yeah, yeah, come in. Sorry it's kind of a mess, though. I haven't cleaned in a while. It's okay. It makes me feel at home. In that case, come right in. Don't mind the bodies. It's all legal. Um... Don't worry about it, Saxon. Um, I guess I'll just sit right here. So, what's up? You know the cult that's like completely devoted to me? Oh yeah. They sort of turned on me because I wanted to stop associating myself with the cult of Saxon. Why would you do that? You had a pretty great deal going on. A group of people who idolize you in every way and are willing to do whatever you say. Sounds pretty great to me. Yeah, but then I imagined them all sacrificing themselves for me and having all their blood on my hands. It would be horrible. For me, I would have stayed. I would have made them wait on me day and night. Uh... You mind if I stay here a few nights until I work with the curse to make a break for it? You see, they're trying to kill me and they have surrounded my house. Yeah, sure. Mi casa es tu casa. Thanks, Jerome. No problem. I think I'm gonna hit the sack. You can just lay it out wherever there's room. First of all, how did he get away? Oh, you were in front. How could you have been so incompetent? I'm sorry, when we ran around the corner, you just vanished. It would have made no difference if you were in front. Of course it would have made a difference because I would have ran faster. Guys, none of this matters. Only Saxon matters. Shut, Shut up, Ann! It doesn't matter whose fault it was, we need to discuss how to catch Saxon. Why don't we just send Landshark? Are you sure he would handle something like um, this? She? Well, his flyer says he'll collapse with anyone, and for an excellent price, too. Her flyer. Then I definitely think we should send Landshark. We will do that then. Any questions or concerns? Why were you talking a bad British Australian accent? I don't know. It just sort of came to me, you know? <sighs> Okay then. Oh, land shark! I'll be there in six and a half seconds. What did she say? She said she'll be here in six and a half sec. And let her in. Oh. Give it a rest. You didn't try to do that every single time you come here. I'll know I'll make it one of these days. Landshark, you're 15 seconds late. Oh, why am I always so tardy? Uh, Landshark? What do you need me to do? Kill Saxon and anyone he's with. Got it.
Hey, Saxon. <sighs> what? How? I'm fine. You know, there's a quicker way to get here if you don't mind hopping a couple of fences. But what about the knife? I sold my left kidney on eBay last year. 20 bucks! There's nothing there to damage. Yep, I'm fine. Not my first stabbing. But where do we go now? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'd say about four inches deep. It'll be about 15 minutes. Unless Romano's clot fast. Okay then. I was a bit groggy because I'd just woken up, but it looked like you hit her pretty hard. I'd say we have about 10 minutes before she comes. What should we do? That is assuming she didn't just give up. Let's go to the cafe. I've always wanted to get a coffee. Do you have any money? No, but I bet this house does. Sweet. I love robberies. How are we gonna get in? Move. What? I said move. Hey, I got a 20. Whoa, you want a gold star? We need big bucks. Hey, I found some guy's credit card. And a hundred bucks. Now we're talking, let's go. I swear I gotta do something. All right, let's go. Oh, sweet backpack. Are you going to drink that? Yeah. Can I rob your house? What? That's terrible. You don't have to drink it. I'll take it if you don't want it. Nope. I'm going to get at least one mouthful down. Come on, Saxon. The cold is sure to be on our tails. Okay, let's go. Ugh, I'm tired of walking everywhere. Tomorrow, we steal some bikes. All right, it's already late afternoon. Let's find somewhere to sleep for the night. Okay. Ugh, how long does it take for her to kill someone? There are much better assassins that we could have hired. <sighs> I never should have put N in, in charge of hiring an assassin. Sorry, she just looks so adorable on the form. Just a kid starting out in the dirty business of professional slaughter. And she lives so close. I just wanted to contribute to the caring community of Northfield. You're so dumb, and we get nothing out of hiring bad assassins. Ooh, that's probably Landshark. Let's hear what she has to say. And get the door. <laughs> well, is he dead? Where's the body? He sort of got past me. What do you mean, he got past you? I thought you were supposed to kill him in his sleep. Well, that was the plan. But then it took longer than I thought to find him. And when I did, it was morning. So I stabbed the guy with Saxon, but then he woke up and sort of... Escaped? I understand. All right, crew, let's shove this thing out the window. Wait, guys, you, you don't need to do this. Let's just work something out. You, you, you can fire me. Sorry, Landshark, this is how we fire people. Wait, wait, guys, you, you, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hey, do you guys have any band-aids up there? I think I scraped my knee. Looking back, I'm not sure why I thought that would hurt her worse. S, take her out. Whoa! Ha, you missed! Give me that. So, what do we do now? Well, I have some ideas.
They might hear us. Shut up, Tom. Have you found Saxon? I'm so worried about how the foster parents will react when they find out he's missing. Sir, we're doing everything we can. There's a mild crime spree downtown and a small search party, but nothing turned up. Do you know why he might have left or where he might be? To be honest, I don't know him very well. He always was very distant. He spent so much time staring at that stupid TV. He did spend a lot of time in that shed, though. You have checked in the shed, then, right? No, no. I never go in there. Well, you're going to need to check, or we'll send an officer over there. Fine, I'll go out there. My, it's very windy out here. <laughs> No one's in here. <laughs> Alright, sir. Calls you have any information about your son's whereabouts. Excuse me, you mean the Johnson son. I no longer claim ownership over that boy. Okay, okay. Like I said, tell us if you have any information about your the Johnson son. Well, we killed our assassin. Oh, did you go on assassinforhire.com? Yeah, I did. All the killers should book solid for the next two weeks. It looks like we're going to have to take matters into our own hands. If he's not in the cellar, then he's probably... That's it! The cellar! He probably didn't think we would check there after what happened with Landshark. Anybody here? Oh! oh no. It's oh rancid! God. Oh, God. oh. Sloppy work from whoever lives here. Everybody knows you're supposed to double bag the bodies and pour Clorox bleach up over each of them to mask the smell. Guys, there's no one in here. I think we should just go. Yeah. Alright, and let me just make sure you are an after all. Ugh. Does everyone think I'm an idiot? No, we know you're an idiot. To prove you're not an imposter, what color is the sky? Oh, that's a tough one. Can I think for a sec? Um, pineapple! Oh my god. No. So, where could they be? Does he like to go to that hiking trail parking lot and pretend he's dead? Uh, yeah. I bet he's there. Seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one. I got eighty-one bucks. Fifty-four dollars. Oh, so that's like two hundred bucks. Yeah. Sure, Saxon. Whoa, what was that? Eh, it's probably just a squirrel. What was that? <laughs> that was such a terrible shot. They were 15 yards away, and you missed both of them. S-A-O. After them. Prince. They fade off into the water. They must have gone into the river. They could be anywhere downstream. Or maybe they're in the sky! S! Why didn't you hit him harder? What the? Oh! People! Maybe they can help us! Welcome, we are the Helpful Wilderness Crew. We have agreed to live out here together, one with nature, and to help whoever needs it. That's awesome, we've got a group of blue shirt murderers trying to kill us. Sounds like they need help. No, no, could you just help us instead? 
Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, come sit down. Yeah, sure. What do you need? Like I said, we've got a group of murderers after us, so we Um, need... actually, you said we have a group of blue shirt and murderers trying to kill us. Quiet wisdom. We need food and protection. We have lots of tomatoes. And knives, as you saw. I'm a dog. I'm sorry, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Zeus. I'm Wisdom, spelled W-H-I-Z-D-O-M. Uh, I'm Ace. Aniston. I'm Rufus. He thinks he's a dog, we just kind of roll with it. Hi, I'm Saxon, this is Drum. Do you have a place where we could dry our shoes? They're pretty moist. Nope. I never caught the part why they started worshipping me. You kind of sound like a loser, no offense. None taken. Well, actually... Squirrel! Yeah, he does that a lot. Yeah, I don't actually understand why they've been praising me, and they've been hunting us ever since. Well, we're at your service. If you need anything, just let us know. Safety in numbers, you know. Great. And this is all your fault. What? How? You should have killed Saxon back up in the parking lot. You missed an easy shot. Well, if you had been a better brother, and taught me how to shoot like Mom wanted... I tried, but you never listened. Ah! Huh. What have you done, Anne? Oh, was my best friend, and you're as good as dead. Crap. Whoa! Where's everyone else? Well, I just accidentally killed A and O, and now X and S are like really pissed at me. Can I join you guys? What do you think? I don't know if we can trust him. He was trying to kill us. No, well, we'd be better off with him going with us, cause it, cause it'd be one more, one less person trying to kill us. Also, well, then again, he wasn't that much of a threat, anyways. Yeah, let's just keep an eye on him. So, can I join you guys? I'm really good at keeping track of time. See, that was five seconds right there. Sure, what the heck? Yes! Hey, this is N. He'll be staying with us for a while. So, N, how is that spelled? I have no idea. You're stupid. Wow, you're pretty cool, and Thanks. No one else seems to recognize that. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. <coughs> so, N, where are you from? Yeah, you know, wherever. We lost some great people today. And one really stupid one. And I won't miss him. We'll come back tomorrow. They probably didn't go far. How did we get into this mess in the first place? I can vaguely remember my family, but then I was here with you guys. I think I was brainwashed. Oh, that was me. Sorry. You just looked right, I guess. It's alright. They weren't that great anyways. Yeah, I felt bad about it for a while, but then I just realized I didn't care. I have trouble caring about stuff too. So how are we going to kill Saxon and Jerome now? I have to call, call an old friend of mine. He can get us some help. I'll call him once we get back to the shed. I left my phone there. Who is he? Have we met him? I don't believe so. His name is Zeus. Zeus Lightning. So you're really just abandoned like that? Yeah, my parents always told me I was kind of an accident. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I gotta take this, I gotta take this. Zeus Lightning speaking. Hey Zeus, I have a favor to ask. X, yeah, anything, what do you need? I need you to help us with a murder. Who is it? These three fugitives, Saxon, Jerome, and a guy who goes by N. Wait, they're fugitives? You know these guys? Yeah, they're sitting 30 feet away. 
All three are horrible criminals. Please do us the solid and take them all out. Definitely, as soon as possible. Oh, we smell. We should go wash our shirts in the river. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Definitely. Let's go. So I suppose they're right. I'm going. I, dude, I think. I'm gonna be frank. You okay, Zeus? You look like you've seen a ghost. I have some bad news. An old friend of mine just asked if we knew the whereabouts of three fugitives in this very woods by the name of Jerome, Saxon, and N. <gasps> I know, it's really sad, but you know it's our moral responsibility to put an end to these criminals. <gasps> what is he doing? I think there was something between he and N. We have to stop him. Ace, get the weapons and everyone else run after him. <laughs> run! They're coming! Who's coming? The wilderness crew. Come with us. I can't have promised Ace I'd stay. Uh, come on, we gotta go. Where did they go? You'll never get it out of me. You're so stupid, they're wanted criminals. You just killed our chances of ever catching them. Fan out, I'll take this traitor to camp. Okay, well, we'll put leather crib. Yeah. <laughs> so you got caught? That's pretty cool. I think so. Which makes my selfless act of trying to help you escape completely futile? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Saxon and Drum got away. You mean the guys that left you to die a half an hour ago? Remember that? Yeah, you're pretty good at helping me remember things. You're pretty good at forgetting things. So, X, and was once a close colleague of yours. What do you think we should do to him? Well, he is sort of a serial killer. What do you mean, sort of? Um, well, he, he killed two people. Wait, wait, let me eat him! What? Let me eat N. It's, it would be the perfect solution. It would be very painful for N and very pleasurable for me. But you're a person. Eating him would be cannibalism. Are you assuming my gender? No, I was... Never mind. If I eat N, it would just be a dog eating a person. We could tell the police that he's clinically insane. Technically, we would be right. That might just work. No way. They can't be serious. They're not going to have Rufus eat me, right? Well, not to freak you out or anything, but I saw Rufus down an entire deer last week. He's like a snake. One big meal every couple of weeks. Then we good, should be good for at least a week, right? Well, actually, I think he got in a fight with a raccoon and only got to have the scraps. So that means... It's feeding time! <laughs> Uh, what do you want? I was sent to try and get a better description of your son. All right. So let's start with his physical appearance. Last time, all you told us was that he was tall. He was skinny, and he had this sort of out-of-it look on his face. You know, like... Okay, anything else? He always wore the same blue shirt and jeans. He has curly hair. Noted. How did he usually act? Did he have any habits or places he tended to hang out? He did spend a lot of time in the shed out in our backyard. And you've checked the shed. He's not there, right? I'm like 9% sure he isn't in the shed. You mean 90? No. I'm at nine. I've never gone out there. Do you mind if I go take a look? Be my guest. Hello? Saxon? Anyone in there? What is this place? Ugh, this is ridiculous. Hey, what's that? It's a bike. Let's use the bike. Smart. Go around the handlebars or should I? 
Oh, dude, I'm not riding handlebars. You got this. All right. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Okay. I guess I'm running. All right. Wait one second. Why? You said they weren't home. Just making sure. They're not home. Let's go. Dude, it's locked. Keep trying the door, keep trying the door. Hey, you know how to hop a car? Well, yeah, but the keys are right in the ignition, oh. dummy. is devastated that N is dead. You know the part of me is amazed that you can eat an entire person. I regret nothing. Oh, that's a femur. I regret nothing. Serves you right, you disgusting doge. Why didn't we just hitchhike? You can't just trust strangers. Any truck driver could be a murderer. I guess that's true. And you know how much I hate competition. Are you sure what we did to N isn't illegal? We didn't do anything to N. We kind of found to a deranged man. Well, Rufus is dead, so he can't testify. This is it. We're here. Still warm. They can't be far off. Wait, wait, I think I hear something. What the heck? It was a warning shot. A warning shot? Yeah, I saw it in the movie. You blew our cover, you moron. Was that a gunshot? Yo, I think it was. I know so. Okay, 
Okay, try and start again. Try and start again. Come on, dude, I'm going to get you to a hospital. No. So I really get to come live with you guys? Whoa, you have a dog? What's his name? Hmm, Rufus. Whoa, that sounds so great. I just can't wait.
Yes, I'll blow. 